YouTubers, Darren here from Grass Ranch Garage, and today we're going to be installing a Hallmaster worm gear style winch on the front of our trailer. First off, you're going to want to locate your carriage bolt, and after you do that, you're going to want to insert it. Do the square hole in the side of the spool right here. Insert your carriage bolt through the square hole, hold it in place from the back side. Take your clamp, place it over the threaded portion of the bolt, and then take your nut and loosely tighten it up on the spool. Take note of the large hole here. Now we must rotate the winch so that the hole is at the bottom and the clamp is near the top, like such. You're now going to want to run your cable underneath of this bushing into the spool and through that large opening at the bottom. Make sure you pull plenty of it through. Now with your excess wire you're going to want to run the cable up through the bottom of the clamp like such. Then the remaining portion of your cable feed back through the opposite side of the clamp until you have about a half inch exposed at the bottom. Now tighten the 10 millimeter nut on the clamp after pulling the excess cable back through the opposite side. In the end it should look similar to this. Now you can begin to wind your cable up onto the reel. Being careful not to kink the cable and making sure that it is packed in as tightly as possible without any overlapping. Now attach the handle the handle keeper on first, the handle assembly itself, and tighten with the supplied nut. Here is the nylock nut supplied. It is a 19 millimeter. A quick tip YouTubers, what I did was hand cranking was going to take forever. So I found a 19 millimeter socket and an adapter and placed it on my cordless drill and used the drill on the lowest speed setting to wind the cable in. And now it's time to attach it to our trailer. And this is the position in which I'm going to mount this winch. I've decided to mount it to the deck of the trailer as low as possible and directly to the wooden planks since this is only going to be pulling at the most a uh, fairly substantial zero turn I feel that it would be a strong enough mounting point. First we'll mark our holes then we drill is all nicely installed with hardware well guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm darren with grass ranch garage get out there and enjoy your weekend